Back Row Ministry, the world premiere. Mr. Mockley coming back at you live and direct. Let's start the debate. So we know we have our scripted Super Bowl Rams versus the Patriots 17 years after the first meeting between the Rams and the Patriots when Tom Brady won at the age of 24. They will be playing on February 3rd. Of course, a date with 24 numerology. Very significant game. So we always talk about the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. So Brady will uh, play his last game, which possibly will be his last game against the team it all began against, which was the the, the, the Rams. So a lot of times with these scripted rituals, the team that loses the game on the ritual turns out to win the game. We saw that at, with the Kansas City Pittsburgh ritual they had at one point where Kansas City had actually won that game. Usually with these rituals, the team that won previously is the loser. They're the loser because of the ritual. So a lot of people are going back and forth with this in the community. Me and a couple of my friends are going back and forth with doing the numbers. And I pulled out the number eight. If Tom Brady wins this particular game, they'd be become eight and five uh, all times against the Rams in the, in, the, in the games they played. So I was able to find some numbers in that. But the key stat that I went back and looked at was Tom Brady and Belichick's stat in Super Bowls. And right now they sit at five and three. So if Brady wins, they'll be six and three. But if they lose, they're gonna be five and four on a day with 54 numerology. So I'm really pushing that the hoodwink is that people are gonna throw a lot of money on the Patriots and the Patriots go down at any point. People are gonna think the Patriots are gonna come back. But I say be 50-50 with this game. If you're gonna bet, bet both ways. But bet majority on the Rams. I think the Rams is a lot of 15, and I was I kept trying to see what is this 15 about? What is this 15? And the 15 has to do with the Rams and Jared Goff. And I think that this might be uh, their way of doing two things: having the young coach of the Rams get his first Super Bowl, and having Jared Goff take the medal. So, like we say, they had to pass this medal on to somebody. And it had to be one of these young quarterbacks. And then McGough was forced to sit out last year. So now we have a situation where, you know, golf is back. Golf is back. He's ready to go. And do uh does the do the do the Rams win the Super Bowl and take the medal. So I'm really looking at the 54 and the Patriots becoming five and four all time Super Bowl wise for Belichick and Brady. Not the ending that people would want. Some people would think that Brady would go out on top. But the thing with Brady that's been different from a lot of the different guys who come through this or they put on top is Brady doesn't mind losing to other people and putting other people over. And I think with all the things you don't like about the Brady routine and him having to be there every year. He doesn't mind putting other people over. It doesn't have to be about him all the time. He's happy in the role of, you know, being, being the box office. Basically, he's the draw. He's one of the biggest draws, you know, in football. He's the draw. And he doesn't mind kind of uh, putting over other players. He doesn't mind putting on other players and putting players in a spot where, you know, they can, they can begin to build their career. So I don't see him having a problem losing that game, becoming five and four, um, leaving the game at five and four, and ending his career against the team his career started at. So 50-50, I say go both ways with the bet. I'm gonna put, you know, I'm still 50-50 on it. You know, it could go either way with this with this pick. But you know, I'm gearing towards the Rams um, um, getting the victory. Ty Gurley having a, a big game back in Georgia, back in his um. His, his, his home state. Peace.